Hi, welcome to what's happening here at the top five stories. At number one, the Lagos State Magistrate Court in Yaba on Wednesday ordered that the Eze Ibu of Ajao Estates, Frederick Nwajagu, be remanded in the Okoyi Correctional Center. Recalling Nwajagu was arrested last Saturday following a viral video in which he threatened to invite members of the indigenous people of Biafra to Lagos to secure properties of Igbo people living in the state. The 67-year-old was arraigned on Wednesday before the magistrate's court presided over by P.E. Mwaka. The judge adjourned the case till May 3, 2023 for Director of Public Prosecution's advice. At number two, the candidate of the Labour Party in the February 25th presidential election, Peter B, has said leaked audio of an alleged conversation between him and the founder of Living Faith Church Worldwide, Bishop David Oyedepo, is fake. Reacting Obi in a statement on Wednesday said that at no point in his issue-based campaign did he ever refer to the election as a religious war. Obi added that his legal team had been instructed to take appropriate legal actions against the online media platform that published the leaked audio. At number three, the federal government on Wednesday approved two contracts worth 15.3 billion naira for the supply and installation of information and communication technology components and digital assistance devices ahead of the population and housing census. The senior special assistant to the president of media and publicity, Garba Shehu, who disclosed this, also revealed that the council approved the contracts for the development of external cost of infrastructure at the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission New Training Academy for sum of 3.3 billion naira, among others. At number four, the Nigeria Institute of Medical Research and other stakeholders in the country launched the Canada-Africa Monkeypox Partnership. The project is in partnership with the Canadian Institute of Health Research and the International Development Research Centre. During the launching on Wednesday, Professor Babatunde Salako, the Director General of NIMR, said 68 researchers with multidisciplinary expertise from Canada, Nigeria, the US and the United Kingdom would work on the project that would involve community engagement from inception. At number five, the National Agency for Food and Drug Administration and Control on Wednesday in Abuja sealed two shops for allegedly selling unapproved products to Nigerians. The shops are located in the Zubak Central Motor Park and Utako Main Market. Tamanua Baba, Deputy Director Investigation and Enforcement Director at NAVDAG, said the operation followed intelligence reports received about the shops. Baba said the agency has apprehended the sales representatives in the Zuba shop pending when the owner of the shop will return from his journey. That's all for now. See you next time on What's Happening.